Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Sam. Welcome to episode number five of Surge to Seismic. So I am still here at Dagon of Kings. Um, on the last episode, I was there, and that's just because I got so many drops I couldn't fit it in. Uh, you know, all one episode. So I'm still here, and as you can see, I've already got a dragon hatchet and a seer's ring right there. Um, you know, really got a load of drops from these guys because I was here for 12 hours in total, and I probably made about 70 mil. You know, mostly from all of the bones and the uh, the dragon hatchets I got. So. In the end, I did actually manage to get the 10 dragon hatchets, which I was after. Uh, really cool to get that, and of course, you know, a whole load of rings with it as well. So, really happy to get the 10 hatchets, and just to make complete bank here. Dragon of Kings are my favourite boss to kill, so, you know, it was really nice to actually just get so many drops and make, you know, just a whole load of bank. It was great. And then, of course, you know, I went back to uh, Duogas because I was going to try and get... Um, you know, free dragon pickaxes, I only needed one more, so I went back to there and after about 500 kills, uh, I managed to actually get one which was very, very lucky. Uh, the drop rate is about 1 in 3,500, so to get one after 500 kills is just brilliant, so very, very happy about that, and it's a nice uh, 15 mil for the dragon pickaxe. Okay, so after finishing at Dwogas with the free dragon pickaxes, I decided to head over to Rivari to see if I could get 50 keystones. I'm just setting myself like sort of little goals to go for um, to sort of motivate me with actually, you know, getting all these items. And I've decided to go for 50 keystones, so nothing sort of too major. You know, keystones are relatively easy to get, so uh, I don't really want to stay here for too long. I mean, it is a good money maker, but uh, there is better ways out there for me to, you know, make a load of money. But 50 keystones is still going to be, you know, quite a fair bit of money, so. Uh, you know, I'd be happy to, to get that and quickly sort of move on. So yeah, Rorari are very easy to kill. I got like the average loot, so Serenic Scales, the Keystones of course, uh, an FG every now and then. Uh, you know, very fun to kill, just very easy, so you can AFK them with Revolution. And uh, you know, it's just nice to see them Beams of Light all the time. It's just, well, it's very helpful to have the Beams of Light on because before, you know, you could easily just miss them. But um, if I add everything into the price checker regarding the, the loot I did get, you can see that you know, it was a fair bit of money, um, I did enjoy it, you know, I was there for a couple of days, uh, and that was it really, so, you know, made a nice bit of cash there, and uh, now I can move on to something else. Okay, so, for my next sort of challenge, I wanted to go big, and, uh, you know, instead of doing things like Rorari, Duogas, things like that, I decided to go to Calfight King, so a much bigger challenge, uh, I want to sort of get some Drygores, and uh, I want to try and get it through, like, Loot Share, so Loot Share Keep, so if I get a Drygore, you know, that's mine, uh, I don't need to split it, or anything like that, and, uh, you know, I was there with a four-man team at the start, you know, it was uh, quite easy even at that point, even though I haven't really done Calfight King in a while, uh, but it's sort of quick to understand, and I started even sort of voking at some point uh, with the shields and that, which was actually really good fun. Uh, but I did get quite a load of uh, little drops, so like U-Seeds, Onyx Bolts, things like that, which you uh, saw in the vid there, um, which all kind of add up. I had some really nice LSP, and when it did come round to uh, my time of getting the Drygore, you know, it was really cool, because I did actually manage to get Drygore, it's a Drygore Rapier, I was very happy with that. Uh, it didn't take very long for me to get it, actually, it's only like two days, I think. Um, I did actually miss a, I think it was like an offhand Drygore Mace, it's my first one, someone else got it. I didn't actually record it, unfortunately, I should have, but, um, you know, my drop was the Drygore Rapier, which was really cool, it's worth about 58 mil when I got it. Uh, so, you know, I was very, very happy about that, and it was awesome to actually see it on the floor, because I've never seen a Drygore on the floor before, and, you know, a massive beam of light, as you can see there, and just very happy to get it, you know, plus it's just, you know, one of the best ones to get you know, regarding the price and things like that. So there we go, 58 mil for a Drygore Rapier. Massive, massive step forward for the series. And uh, yeah, very, very happy about that. So throughout recording this episode, the Legacy Mode came out. So uh, from future clips from now on, you probably will see me playing in Legacy Mode. If you don't know what Legacy Mode is, it is uh, pretty much the old way of RuneScape, even though it's still in RuneScape 3. So you're still playing the main game, um, but it's just sort of the old interface and also the old combat system. So uh, yeah, you might see some uh, some clips of me actually playing in this interface. So just a heads up on that, just in case you're a bit sort of like confused to actually what's going on if you think I'm playing 07 or something like that. But yeah, Legacy is uh, pretty fun. Um, it's just you know, it's very easy. I, I do like it. it's very simplistic. So um, you know, it's very nice to sort of see these old graphics again, even though it's for the quest tab, it does still come up with the. Uh, the new sort of thing, so that's a little bit weird, but everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, it's got the, the old stances as well for when you're holding weapons, and uh, you know, just in general, it looks like really cool. And it's just like a nice old feel of uh, you know, how the game used to be. And here's just a clip in legacy mode. Um, I was killing Ganondamic Beast, actually picked up some agility brawlers, which is awesome. Uh, very happy to get that, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you what legacy is actually like, even though you're gonna still see it anyway with uh, you know, the future clips after this. But uh, yeah, very nice, uh, very easy to kill these Ganondamic Beasts. Got Virtus 1 to sort of click and just do a whole load of damage. Um, and yeah, it's pretty awesome, you know. Agility brawlers as well, it's a hard, you know, slow skill. So uh, yeah, very nice to get them. It's my first pair for that skill, so awesome. 
Okay, so from this point onwards, you're going to see myself playing in legacy fixed mode uh, on low detail. Uh, that's just the way I've decided to play right now. And uh, I headed over to Mutated Jodinko as I was doing Slayer at the time. And of course, I got an Elite Clue Scroll, so uh, I thought I'd record it and show you guys uh, what I can get from this. So there we go. Uh, completed it. And I got some Bandos Chaps. At this point in time, I have no idea how much these are. Uh, so it's quite exciting to actually know. I mean, it's not going to be too much, but you always hope that it's going to be you know, a couple hundred K. And it's only 115k, which will probably sell for about 2GP. Uh, so yeah, 282k though, meh, it's okay. It all just depends on how much them uh, Bandos chaps actually sell for. So yeah, there we go for that clue. And I also got another Elite Clue Scroll from Mutated Jodinkos. And uh, here we go for the loot. So I got a Dragon Staff, which actually sounds really awesome. You know, something which is worth a lot of money, but it really isn't. It's only like 200k GE value. But I actually did go and sell it on the GE and it only sold for like 40k. So pretty bad from that, but there you go. So another task I got was Ice Strike Worms and I just wanted to record this because I got some rune bars and the cool thing about it is that it was originally 50 but because I was wearing the mask which sort of doubles your loot on every 10th kill I actually got 100 rune bars so that was pretty epic um, you know even though it's not really too much anymore uh, so, well I guess it's 1.4 mil it was quite good but uh, it's not like some sort of crazy drop which is worth like 10 mil plus but there you go for 100 rune bars. And continuing with the Slayer, I went to Calgarian Demons and I actually managed to pick up a Commendation Scroll. This was actually my second of the tar, so I didn't actually record the first one. Don't know why, I wasn't really expecting to sort of get another one, so I didn't think it'd be sort of too significant. But I did record the second and uh, yeah, crazy. You know, these titles are quite sort of rare to get, or these scrolls I should say. So to get two in one task is crazy and uh, I think that one unlocks the Pummeler. So yeah, Scape Skill the Pummeler, sounds cool. Alright then, so these next couple of clips have some pretty awesome drops, uh, the first being Ancient FG from a Dark Beast, so this is again is with Slayer, just sort of wanted to test out Slayer with Legacy, and uh, you know, it was really good fun, so yeah, enjoyed it and got an Ancient FG there fairly early on, which is cool, and then I actually got some more Brawling Gloves, again with Agility uh, being the skill, got them off Black Dragon, so you know, it was just crazy to get them, you know, I got the other pair yesterday, so to have two now for Agility is just just insane you know I still need to use the, the first and uh, you know it's gonna take me a while so a lot of XP and agility for that so very very happy about that that is pretty nice and then I also got a draconic visage from a celestial dragons task I know these aren't really sort of that special anymore but I still thought I'd record it because uh, I don't know it still has that sort of um, I don't know it just has that special effect with it I suppose which makes it still seem pretty valuable even though it's only 1.2 mil uh, but there you go for a draconic visage that's actually now two for the drop tab so pretty nice Okay, so back to Dark Beast, I managed to pick up a Crystal Triskelion Fragment, this is the first of the three. I actually completely forgot about these, uh, you can get some nice loot from it. It's kind of, sort of guaranteed at least around 500k, so uh, yeah, it's just a, a really good elite in a sense. But talking about elites, I actually did get one uh, from Dagonoff Kings, I went there as a, you know, for my task of Dagonoffs. And uh, yeah, they weren't too bad, they still hit quite a lot on you because they do actually buff them. Um, but in Legacy, I don't know, it's not too bad when you've, you sort of know how to do it and how to, uh, you know, switch prayers and things like that. So it's pretty decent. So I did do the Elite Clue Scroll and the reward I got from it was, well, let's have a look. What is it going to be? That's ah, not too bad. Ancient Full Helm, that's pretty decent actually. So if I go down to the price checker and see how much it is. So we've got the Onyx Bolt Tips, the UC, Andy Fire, and of course the Ancient Full Helm adds up to a total of 810k, which is relatively nice. Uh, I'm going to guess it's going to probably sell for a little bit cheaper, but still 810k is uh, pretty decent for an Elite Clue Scroll. Okay, so quite a lot of people last episode were asking to actually see the drop tab, and I haven't actually shown it in a while, so here we go for it. So straight away, 50 million cash. Um, I have sold sort of like little items, so that's why uh, I've got 50 million cash there. It's pretty nice. Of course, got the boots uh, early on from the Glacors, got the Triskelion Fragment, which you know you just saw in the previous clip. Um, coal, you know, just random sort of ores and bars, things like that, gems. Got the Onyx there from Calgarian Demons, a uh, whole of diamonds from them as well. Hides, logs, you know, different rune uh, pieces here. Got a whole load of rune clay bodies, 68 of them, mostly from Eretz. Uh, Onyx bolts, um, enchanted as well from Nex and Calphite King. Um, arrows, random treasure trail items, so pages, uh, ancient plate skirts, things like that. And they've got some random sort of junk here, which isn't too great. Um, well, apart from the 11 energy right there, which is actually quite a lot of money. Uh, it's about 300k each there, which is cool. Boundless boots from that minion I killed, I remember that. Uh, bronze dragon mask from a clue scroll and uh, that's quite nice to get that and then as we go down it gets a little bit more serious with the items so we've got a visage or two of them um, dragon claws uh, we've got some dragon cultures there random royal pieces um, and then it really starts like uh, sort of happening here with uh you know well we've got the sourdough and hill versus boots torva legs dry gore shards um, and then we go down here we've got dragon limbs dragon hatchets dragon pickaxes 
whips uh, which actually some of them um, are just ones I've PK'd so yeah take about five of them off or maybe a little bit more actually it's been a yeah I don't think I've uh, well I've probably had one whip as a drop and that's about it actually so yeah most of them from being in the wilderness and stuff like that uh, I've got all of my Dagon of Kings rings here so four berserkers four warriors three archers and seven seers so yeah crazy amount of them I've uh, got all my bones, so Dagonoff bones, Org bones, Dragon bones, Eret bones, and Big bones, Talisman. So these actually add up to quite a, a nice bit, actually, because, well, the Water Talismans are 13.8k each, and the Earth Tallies are 3.4k each. So, yeah, nice amount of them. And then we've got the Drago Rapier, of course, there, which at the moment is worth 60 mil, so it's gone up a little bit there uh, from 58 mil when I got it. And then I've got the keystones down here um, for when I actually, uh, you know, got the 50 there. Uh, I've actually got a couple more as well because I actually went back there for a couple of tasks and I've got the Serenic Scale. So overall the tab is looking very, very good. I did actually price check it and it comes to about 650 mil. Um, so, you know, a nice amount there. Still need to sort of push a little bit further for the, uh, the size mix. I think it's around 850 mil right now. So... Uh, still a long way to go uh, seeing as I need to get the singularity as well but I'm going to be doing some more bosses if you want to sort of uh, give me a suggestion to what boss I should kill next feel free to leave it in the comments you know and I'll go there and do it and uh, yeah hopefully you've enjoyed this episode guys if you have make sure to throw it a thumbs up and to also subscribe if you haven't already but thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next episode